Loch Ness monster hunters have detected four distinctive noises under the water, sparking new hope the beast could be found. The biggest hunt for Nessie in more than 50 years saw about 200 volunteers flocking to the Scottish Lake on the weekend of August 26-27, 2023, hoping to catch a glimpse of the mythical monster. Loch Ness exploration boss Alan McKenna revealed the teams used a hydrophone system, a microphone that allows the volunteers to listen to the underwater world of Loch Ness. He said, Actually, when we were testing equipment we did hear four distinctive noises that we didn't know where it was coming from, we didn't know what the origin of it was. It's quite exciting, but again we're not saying it is the Loch Ness Monster. It just means that we now have to go back out and do it all again, in the same location, to try and identify these noises. McKenna added there were 12 people on the speaker system who all heard the mystery sounds. Paul Nixon, general manager of the Loch Ness Monster said the microphone had been dropped 60 feet under the surface of the water when it picked up the sounds. He added, So far we've had some really exciting noises heard on our underwater hydrophone. After hundreds joined the big hunt for Nessie, Mr McKenna said, The weather in Scotland was horrific over the weekend, so much so that the Scottish Highland Games were cancelled for the first time in 75 years. But that didn't stop us, and that didn't stop our volunteers. We've had people coming from all over the world. We've had people from Spain, France, Germany and we had a Finnish couple. We've had news teams from Japan, Australia, America and it has been really good. We've all kind of banded together. It's been fantastic. Paul Nixon, general manager of the Loch Ness Center, said he felt there was something in the lake worth looking for, adding, I believe there is something big lurking in the depths of Loch Ness. Now I don't know whether it's a monster, I don't know what it is but I reckon there's something down there. Search leader Alan McKenna said, we did hear something. We heard four distinctive gloops. We all got a bit excited, ran to go make sure the recorder was on and it wasn't plugged in. The first written record of a monster relates to the Irish monk St. Columba, who is said to have banished a water beast to the depths of the river Ness in the 6th century. The most famous picture of Nessie, from 1934 showed a head on a long neck emerging from the water, but 60 years later it was revealed to have been a hoax that used a sea monster model attached to a toy submarine. Countless unsuccessful attempts to track down the monster have been made in the years since. US volunteer Caroline McNamara's interest in Nessie began when she was at school. I chose the Loch Ness monster as my essay assignment, and I thought, oh 20 years later it comes full circle so I might as well come and join the hunt since I heard it was happening, she said adding that so far they had not found any evidence. The waves were really choppy. The rain was really coming down and there were a lot of boats on the water. They all came up and waved and I'm like, this is a bad time, we're trying to listen for Nessie, but it is what it is. Nessie enthusiasts who were unable to make the trip were invited to take part by watching live streams from the team's webcams for any mysterious sightings across the waters. Participant Craig Gallifrey told Sky News prior to the start of the search. I believe there is something in the lock. There's got to be something that's fueling the speculation. The mystery noises aren't the only exciting recent development at Loch Ness. TikToker Page Daily, who runs the channel Loch Ness Monster Official, also uncovered a network of secret caves she speculated could be Nessie's underwater lair. There were multiple entrances and it was clear that these were linked up to each other within the hillside, she said of the find. There was no apparent sign of life in the caves. But then again, it was just a black watery abyss close to the lock. So, to conclude, could we be drawing closer to solving the mystery of the elusive monster in the lock? Only time will tell.